Hey guys, Antonio Zilla here. Welcome to a new video. And today we're going to... What? Oh, okay. Oh yeah, it's my cap. I'm sorry. I couldn't find my regular cap that I always wear. So I just used this uh, McDonald's one. So, yeah. Anyways, today we're going to be doing a short little video on my room tour collection as of July 2018. This video was requested by one of my viewers, Echo Boy 1324 or 1324 when it should be 1234. Whatever. Anyways, shall we continue the tour? Or, I mean, start the tour. What is wrong with me today? All right, so let's begin. So first, um, we have this. Oh my gosh, I never told you guys about this. But when I was like five or four or three, I don't even remember, I absolutely covered this cabinet with countless Thomas the Tank Engine stickers. So please try and bear with me with that. They are unremovable and, oh, wait a minute. Yay, they're removable. And up here, we've got a giant rubber velociraptor. I like to think of it as a Utah Raptor. Um, I don't remember really which company this is made of. This is, I mean, <laughs> made from, who made it, whatever. But, um, I like it. Kind of looks like Blue the Velociraptor because of this one's streak that goes down its back. And then, uh, right here, this is, a uh, I forgot what this device is called, but it's pretty cool. So you can, like, like, smash your face against it like this. It's pretty funny. And then we have this ghost cartoonish ghost that I've had since like 2014 <laughs> and then right here uh, it's a lamp and a little teddy bear that my dad gave me on Valentine's Day back in 2014 Then right here we have my desk with my throat pills then up here is this model building that I made back in like 2012 and then right beside it is a model of Big Ben that I got back in 2011. It's actually a piggy bank. See that slot right there? Then up here is a model house, which I did not make, but I did buy it at a hobby store, I'm pretty sure. I got it a long time ago, so I don't really remember. And this weird device is, I used to have this at Chuck E. Cheese. There's a light in the little chamber. And when you turn it on, like there'd be little bits of light that come out at the tips of this thing. It was actually pretty cool. It looks like a, like a galaxy or something. It was pretty nice. Oh, and then there's... I like you. I like you. Just plain like you. I like you, Mouse. And then there's um, the uh, job chart from years ago, which I've never um, used in a really long time because I don't really have any chores. Then over here is a picture of a, a choo-choo. Then up here is my Shin Godzilla poster that... Um, wait a second. Crap, let me move the lamp. My Shin Godzilla poster, or Godzilla Resurgence poster, that my brother gave to me on my birthday, my uh, last year, my own birthday, on my birthday. And then up here, this is some sort of Indian lamp that I made in my old art class. It's pretty cool. I like it. It's made of paper and wax and paint, obviously. Oh no! Ow! Then here's my bed with a little level 14 Dominus Rex on top of it. Then right here are some old pictures and paintings and posters of this train that I used to love when I was little. It's called the General. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a train. In case you were wondering, this thing right here is some sort of Indian drum that my mom gave me after she came back from her trip to Montana. She um, visited a powwow um, Indian tribe. It was pretty cool. Uh, I, I didn't come, but, but she was like, she worked for them. And it's a long story, but anyways, she picked this up for me, and it's some sort of drum. Oh, crap. Then, we have these two dinosaur puppets right here. The review for these two puppets is actually the most famous video on my channel. It has 21,000 views. I don't even know why, it's not even my greatest work. Then right here is my volcano poster. So not only was I crazy about trains when I was little, but I also used to lose my mind whenever I'd see a volcano on TV or anything like that. I'm a huge volcano fan. 
It's it just, they're so cool. They're these big piles of rock that spew out nacho cheese. Yay. Then right here is my Discovery Lab T-Rex skeleton. Actually, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Discovery Lab. I don't even remember what the company is called. Then right here on top of my DVD player is a little Spinosaurus skeleton. There's also a lava lamp right there, but it, it, it never works. And then right there is my Where Dinosaurs Come to Life booklet. And now, what all of you have been waiting for, since you've been expecting it, and have been seeing it in the corner of the frame of every shot in this video. It's my Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Mattel display. Everything on this shelf, except for that knife and that gate right there, is all Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Mattel branded merchandise. So we have the Gyrosphere Blast Vehicle, the Superposable Indoraptor, the Attack Pack Basic Velociraptor, which hasn't been reviewed yet. There's the Action Attack Carnotaurus attacking a mercenary, and a baby Dimorphodon. And then moving up, we have the Vorovor's Allosaurus. Then we have Owen posing with the Attack Pack Blue, the repaint of the Attack Pack Blue that I did. And then there's the um, Story Pack Gyrosphere and Claire set. That is one of my favorites. And then here's the Vorovor's Baryonyx. Then we have the um, T-Rex Tracker Diecast. That's what I'm trying to say. And then we have, oh yeah, the little baby blue right here. Then we have a Triceratops, no, this hasn't been reviewed yet. Thrash and Throw T-Rex, the Attack Pack Dimorphodon, and this Stegosaurus. Now this has been repainted, but I'm still not 100% happy with it. I plan on doing it again sometime, so it's finished. And then also here's another Owen. Then moving up, we have the Super Colossal Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now she has not been reviewed yet, but she will be very soon. And then right here is these Hasbro Jurassic World gates. These are not Mattel, this is by Hasbro. I just thought it looked good with the Colossal T-Rex. Yeah, her review is coming very soon. Yeah, I just thought those Jurassic World Hasbro gates, I don't know, they just went well with the, you know, the Colossal T-Rex. Hasbro. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed our room tour. If you're interested in my channel and my content, I really suggest you hit the like button, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more great videos. I have a new review of another Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy coming very soon.